I'm Jeff Teague, this is Auto Jeff Reviews. Thanks for hitting subscribe, I appreciate you all. So the Nero EV, it's available in two different model configurations. The wind that you see here, or the waves. And you can get them either 39.5 or 44.5. So let's walk all the way around this one, get a first look, and then we'll look inside as a first look. Then we're gonna go section by section because I'm sure you've got questions about what's the power? How long does it take to charge this? What are the benefits of buying one? How's that passenger and cargo space? Best in class cargo volume, I'll give you a little sneak peek. This is an interesting looking vehicle. And as we look inside for our first look, you can see it's a combination of Syntex and cloth seats. Of course, you can upgrade more options when you get the wave trim level. But for right now, we're gonna look at this as an electric vehicle option with good range, pretty zippy power actually. And then we'll get a look from the back so you can see the dash. We'll talk about buttons, controls, dials. There are several different features that make this one of a kind, very unique. I like to jump right in with performance fast facts. We're not gonna see an engine under here because it's an electric vehicle, but we will see, ho, oh, some storage space underneath here with a little net. That's right, this could be a multi-purpose area here. It's not huge, but with that net, you can hold things in place so they won't roll around. Let's take a look here. Remember, anytime you see a hybrid or electric vehicle, when you see orange, that's high voltage, so stay away. But it's kind of nice just to look inside here. Now, what kind of power can this vehicle deliver? And by the way, when we do this, notice that it's got the lifts as opposed to a prop rod. It's got a hood blanket here. Hey, look. Kia Eco Technology. This uses a lithium ion polymer drive battery. You can get zero to 60 in 7.1 seconds and 201 horsepower, 188 pound feet of torque. As far as acceleration, it's not the fastest. It's not a drag car, no, but it'll swiftly get you up to speed and it does it probably a little faster than you might expect. It's EV, electric after all. This is a front wheel drive vehicle. It's got McPherson struts in the front, independent multi-link suspension in the back. Should be relatively smooth, tightens up on corners, smooth sailing straightaways, and then it's got four wheel disc brakes. Since there's no gasoline, where do you charge it? This side? No. I definitely can't find a charge port on the passenger side, well, clearly it must be in the front, and it is, and that makes sense because when you pull up to a charger, you can just, boom, hook it right up. There's an embossed triangle right here. Pop, pop, pop goes the weasel. The weasel goes pop. Pull this off, then we can charge it. If you've got the included 120 volt charger AC power, it's gonna take a while, two and a half days to fully charge it, but DC fast charge, that may be the way to go. And I think it is because you can charge between 10 and 80% in 43 minutes. Matter of fact, need an extra splash of juice? Well, you can in 30 minutes get an extra 100 miles out of that charge. The MPGE, that's MPG equivalent electrical, electricity, that can give you 113 MPGE and it can go a range of 253 miles. This is a very complex very modern looking and really cool high-tech front end. Look at this here, even the hood, it's rounded. It's not squared off at all. And there's just a little bit of definition here. Pretty cool stuff. We've got the Kia logo here along with this metallic accent piece here and it matches the one down below. Then we've got some gloss black. We've got some silver metallic accents here. Pretty neat, but Again, it's very complex. Look at the interesting LED daytime running lights. Now, the one thing I'm not too excited about is the fact that this is not the LED headlight. I would like to see that, even on the, we'll call it the entry level. Look how the turn signal here, kind of looks like you're scribbling in statistics class, right? It's pretty wild, pretty funky fresh, if you ask me. Now we've got LED turn signal in the side mirror here. Also, the blind spot indicator is right there in triangular form. Let's us know the coast is clear or not clear. Now look around here when we go to the back because got these really cool tail lights, like a boomerang. Watcha! By the way, it makes me think I want to go to Outback Steakhouse. I don't know why I said that. Keep watching. <laughs> 
All right, so look, we've got gloss black accent here, and then look where the turn signal is. A lot of companies are going this way where they bring the turn signal down lower. I don't know how people feel about that. It's certainly interesting. What a cool design though. I don't have the best lighting to test this out, but we're gonna go forward and then backwards so you can see what everything looks like all lit up. Hopefully it'll get a good indication of what we're dealing with here. Put the flashers on maybe. How do you like it? There we go. This is a great view in the sun so you can see how that cityscape green pops. These are 17 inch wheels and they're real unique. It almost looks like a, I don't want to call it a flower design, but maybe 17 inch alloy wheels, two tone. Now look at the gloss black fender treatments, got cladding down there, a little bit thicker. Real interesting, almost reminds me of Toyota Crown, how it has that gloss black panel there. And then look here, we've got gloss black roof rails, no sunroof. Got silver metallic accents around the windows. Very cool looking though. It's almost like the EV vehicles are competing, trying to one up each other on how unique, how original they can make their styling. Now over here, we've got gloss black up into the A pillar, another, call it a C or a boomerang. And then, like I said, we've got blind spot right there. Here's an example of what the blind spot looks like in that reddish color. Now I'm all for originality, so I like having the lights down here. I like the boomerang design here. We've got backup camera here, Kia, new logo, Nero, very high tech. Fred Anderson, Raleigh, Kia of Raleigh.com. We've got parking sensors on the back along with this thick gloss black and metallic accent all along the bumper. It has a power lift gate. Ho! Holla! For cargo space, what can we fit here? Well, behind the seats, we've got 22.8 cubic feet and 63.7 behind the first row. Got those seats pushed forward a little bit so I knew they would fold down. It folds down relatively flat, although there is a little Buffalo Bill hump there. Rub the lotion on the skin. We've got lights right there a little hook maybe for a cargo net or just putting grocery bags in. Now look here, nice and tall, should be very easily stackable. Your dog could sit there, maybe your cat if you like to take your cat on the road too. Then we've got storage space under here. I love extra storage space. We've got a tire inflation kit. Look out for inflation, tire inflation. All right, so how do you like the cargo area? Solid sound there. We've got some decent room in here for the size vehicle that it is, meaning 38.1 inches of rear seat headroom. I'm five foot eight and I don't have the longest legs in the world. So when the seat's all the way back and reclined, I did that on purpose to show you an extreme 36.9 inches of rear seat leg room. Okay, so small seat in the middle, but you'd expect it on a vehicle of this size. These seats are actually very comfortable. Syntex and cloth seats. I like them, I like the padding. It's kind of soft, but you can tell it's firm as well. There's a lot of padding there. All right, now look at this. So look on in here, we've got just a small area that could fit a thin sports bottle maybe. Soft touch here. We do have these hard backed pockets so you can fit notepads in, iPads in. Look, we've got a hook where you can hook activities for children there. Rear air vents, I like that. Not the biggest armrest, but it works. Very comfortable here. Nice deep cup holders, I like that. And then we've got child safety latches. I also like the pattern of the seats here. Mixing it up with that black syntax, we've got the gray patterned look. And then extra bonus, my friends, USB. USB, yeah, you know me. We've got that going on right there so everybody can stay connected. Now take a look at the dash. We've got matching 10.25 inch screens. Here we go. How does it look? Futuristic. The controls are relatively easy, but you gotta know some tricks. So take a look at the seats here. They're kind of in the reclined state so you can see how you can chillax. We've got soft here. This can fit a longer, still thin sport bottle there. We've got gloss black accents, and I like how they use 
gloss black along with grays, the silver metallic look. This is not a power passenger seat. However, I like that you can raise it up and it's real easy. It doesn't clunk heavily. Super easy to use just like that. Pick me up, pick me down. I'm in the Nero. It's going down. It's my uh, freestyle for the day. All right, so look in here. It's thin, but it's relatively deep. So that's kind of nice. Now look here, we've got the cup holders and they're extended. You push them out. You also fold them back in. Woo, woo, woo. Shall I push? Do, 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 do. Push it. Take a look at the seats here from the driver's view. Oh, a 10-way power adjustable seat and it moves very quickly. Just like that. Back of the seat, two-way lumbar. Again, very comfortable seats. I was kind of surprised at that. I don't know why, it just surprised me. And then going around here, we've got different looks of gloss black, matte black. We've got a long cup holder and this kind of slides out here. So look at this, we've got more pattern look here. See diamonds and triangles, everything going on. Illumination of the dash the power hatch, traction control on and off. It's a Syntex trimmed steering wheel. Now to me, we've got drive mode. So why would I not push it? You can do drive, sport, eco, or normal. If you want better gas mileage, better acceleration, or just normal driving, we can mix up our filing cabinet of information. Oops. Let's keep going here. So those are some of the ways that you can customize this one right here. We've got voice commands, the phone, real easy to use. We've got Sirius XM, Apple CarPlay, and Android Auto. To me, this is very cool. It's a nice display, easy to use, very user-friendly. It's a lot you can do here. I like the use of purples, but I like dark blue and purple as my colors that I like. So we can set climate settings just like that. See how fast it blows. Then we've got the map. Look at that. Navigation built in. Holla. I like that a lot. Cancel that one out. And then we'll go back to the home screen. You can do your phone voice memo. Quiet mode. That keeps it at a certain level, will not go above that. Now look down here, we've got our climate in a different way. We've got digital lights right here. We've got our temperature that we can change. It's synced right now, but doesn't need to be. Okay, so then we just kind of pop it like that. Very cool. But if we push this button, it's gonna switch to the audio visual or multimedia. You can do media here. Sirius XM, FM, AM. Oh. Stan, that's quite a song. All right, so we've got USB-A, USB-C there. We've got a USB-A and two, well, no, two USB-A's in the back and one USB. BC in the back, so five total. We've got heated seats. This is our different backup camera. It's different because I wish it took up the whole screen, honestly. So can do curb view, can do overhead view. It's not the most crystal clear view that I've seen, but it's not bad. I don't want to knock it because it, it's not bad. Like I said, so we've got the electronic parking brake. We've got the auto brake hold, heated seats. And then here's how we turn park, drive, reverse, neutral, neutral. And that's the on and off button. But again, look at the design here and you feel it in the ridges. Just like that. So let's turn it on. And it looks like that. And let's test out 
the horn. I also like that it's got the wireless charging pad and this is grippy too, so your phone's not gonna slide. That's kind of clever. This is one of my favorite features here. You can go ahead and change the ambient lighting. Do you want it on dreamy purple, blue flight? Now, what am I talking about here? Look at this right here. This is right now on spa. And then I change it to violet cloud, orange delight, golden insight. Or I can do a custom color. Look at this. If I want that color, it's now that color. If I want that color, that color. And it's really easy to set on the spectrum where you want. Very cool, that would look awesome at nighttime. And we'll finish out the interior view by showing you the big long slider there, the lighted mirrored visor, Kia Connect right there, light. And remember for pricing, this one starts at 39,550. You can also get the Wave one for $44,550. So whatever your preference in options and pricing, all that jazz, we gotta find a perfect balance. What do you think of the Nero EV? Would you rather choose the Nero in hybrid or plug-in hybrid or is EV the way to go? Thanks everybody so much. Please hit subscribe to join Auto Jeff Reviews and then I'm at Instagram and TikTok at Auto Jeff Reviews as well. I'd love to see you on all my platforms. We try to have fun very informative, that's the way to be. Thanks so much, see you next time.